never go to a regular market for tomatoes in the summer. And this summer's just been a fabulous summer for tomatoes. Tomatoes, my favorite part of summer. Tomatoes came to the old world from the new world right after Columbus's voyages. On these voyages, there were a number of Jews from Spain. And they, of course, couldn't go back because it was 1492 and the Inquisition was in full force. So that many of them went to other places. A, a safe haven at that time was Turkey. But these Turkish merchants brought the tomato, the potato, the pepper, even corn to different farmers, to different ports, to different merchants around Europe. People at first were hesitant to try this member of the nightshade family, which they knew had several greens that were poisonous to eat. But the Jews knew that they were edible. I love them and I just got back from Italy visiting Jewish homes. They always, for some reason, made this one dish that I love called pomodoro a mezzo, which meant tomatoes cut in half and baked. And it's, it's a little bit like sun-dried tomatoes, but you don't dry them for as long. So let's get started. So the first thing you do is you take some olive oil and just put it in the bottom of a Pyrex pan. Then you pick your tomatoes. And I try to pick the freshest that I have. I also try to vary the, the size of them. And this is kind of fun. You just, you can use it, you just use your fingers or a knife. It'll, they'll squeeze out. See how they squeeze? This is the water. You want the essence of tomato to remain. That's why these are so good. If you leave some of the seeds, nobody cares. And what we want to do is we want to sprinkle some garlic over all of them. Garlic is always delicious. Then this is a combination of a teaspoon of salt and sugar. All right, so now I'm going to put the pepper, ground pepper on. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil over all of them. You put it at a hot heat so that it's going to start cooking right away, but then you don't want it to be that burnt. Now, the other thing is if you're using dried herbs, you sprinkle them on right away, right now. But if you're using fresh herbs, like I'm going to use today um, basil rather than, uh, let's say, dried oregano or dried whatever, I, I like the color of the fresh. And so I'm going to sprinkle it on just as it comes out of the oven. Ready to go. For about an hour, I would say. Longer rather than shorter. And that's it. Very simple. So now I'm going to serve them. And you just sort of put them on top of each other. And then what I do is I take, here's some fresh parsley and some basil, and I just chop them. What could be better in the summertime? It's the chef's prerogative to taste the first one. Mmm. Delicious. Happy summer.